cup of anxiety juice this morning that I am making my way through and I thought I would do some makeup with you. The makeup routine, she does not change much. However, I just like to go through things that I'm liking with you to solidify the fact that I really do like certain things. We do actually have a few new things as well, so that's good. Got a new lipstick. Very, very happy with this lipstick. Really enjoying it. There's a new, like, holy grail combo that I'm enjoying at the moment. So yeah, we're going to crack on. Get a little bit more makeup on my face because disclosure, I don't wake up looking like this. I actually look ashy in the morning. I have the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturiser on right now as well as SPF. And then I've got a light layer of this new little bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. Ordered it. Didn't know if I'd love it that much. I was just like, mm, I'm just not sure. I haven't really enjoyed a cream bronzer like this in ages. I've actually been using one that is way too dark for my face. But in the interest of trying to actually use things in my makeup collection up, I've just been going for it. Oh, there it is. I've been using, it's actually a foundation, which is good for me because I have a lot of dark pigmentation where I would actually put bronzer. It just happens to be where some of my spots appear. Some of them don't. Some of them are here. The extra coverage in this is very nice, but this one is quite dark. I have a lighter one somewhere. Don't know where it has gone though, but that's what I've been using so far. And I didn't want to look that tan today because I have not fake tanned the bod. So yeah, definitely need to do that, but I didn't want to go too bronzy today because I wanted my face to actually match my body. So yeah, that's what I've got on my face so far. Let's crack on and do some makeup. I'm gonna do the TikTok thing that I've really been enjoying of putting everything on my face and then blending it all in at once because it's very quick. I don't know if it actually makes everything look any better, but in terms of speed, love it. Just do all your blend in one. I'm getting ready in like 20 minutes at the moment and I do wear like quite a considerable amount of makeup really. So I'm actually, oh, that's almost blusher everywhere. So yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with everything. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more blush on. It's gonna look a little bit crazy, but I feel like I always end up blending it out and then applying it again. So we're gonna go a little bit heavier today. Next up, I'm taking my Rare Beauty 4-in-1, what is this called? Always an Optimist Mist. This is really lovely, actually. I'm not sure I've tried anything from Rare Beauty that I don't like. Quite problematic. I like to show a variety. I feel like I'm not showing a variety because my makeup bag is slowly being taken up by Rare Beauty, but can't complain. Really can't complain. It's lovely. Now, the only thing with this is I actually find that this concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I got a new one when I was in Bordeaux, popped into Sephora and I'm obsessed with it. The only thing I find is that this needs to be left to set. So the mist, it works well for the blush, but it's kind of counterproductive on the concealer. To be honest, my dark circles aren't too bad today, so I don't need the most coverage. But if you want more coverage with the Tarte Shape Tape, give it like... 30 to 60 seconds to set and it really does give the best coverage to be honest the makeup is not really mattering too much today because i am just going to be at home i'm very excited about that i have literally zero plans and zero plans actually means i need to be sorting my life out so i think that is what we are doing this week and i haven't done a sorting my life out vid in some time and my life is very reflective of that Right now, let's just say that. The wardrobe room, she is a mess. My face, also a mess. I need to do my whole beauty routine and I'm actually going away at the weekend, only for a couple of days, but I just kind of want to look nice. I can tell you why, oh my God. We can tell you why we are going to Ibiza. I don't know if I'll wait till Ryan's back to tell you, because I feel like, mm -mm, maybe I should tell you. He's not great at hyping himself up. We were at a party the other day and he was talking about Ibiza and he just didn't say why he was gonna go. And I was like, do you want me to hype you up? Can I, can I step in? Because you missed out the most exciting part of this story. We have real proud girlfriend vibes over here. So gonna be in Ibiza very soon. Very excited about it. And I would like to look nice. So we're gonna do some beauty routine edge, maybe tomorrow. I don't know if I have the energy, the will today. Just about holding on to my sanity this month, if I'm honest. Just very, I'm very easily overwhelmed. Very easily overwhelmed. And we have a lot going on at the moment the reno starting is is imminent and there's just a lot on there is a lot on. oh i may have also added on a project to the garage reno so that's also really great but your girl she is she is stressed she has a lot to be doing she's just launched a podcast this morning woke up 7 a.m to check that it was live was it showing on apple or spotify no 
no so it's like 13 minutes of me holding my breath until it appeared on there so next week it will be on there at 7 a.m because i will just set it to go live at like 6 45 to allow for enough time for it to appear yeah there's a lot going on oh ryan also is having his house worked on so recording the pod this week is going to be interesting because the builders are in so with all of this and the fact that i have a free day-to-day -day mind you may be wondering why i am bothering to put makeup on and the answer to that is that for some reason i am about 10 times where is my brush gone back to what i was saying for some reason i am about 10 times more productive if i have makeup on i don't know what it is does anyone else find this or is it just me but i am so much more productive there is makeup on my face yeah today the wardrobe room she is going to be looking spotless by end of play that is the aim of the game today mostly because i want to film a tiktok and the items that i need are somewhere under a pile of clothing so i'm gonna have to be sorting that room out in some way either way might as well just do the full shebang nothing to see there nothing happened in more beauty related news i am still very very obsessed with this foundation it's really good for when i set underneath my blush and bronzer as well because like i said i've got scarring down here so it just adds that little extra bit of coverage if you have a lot of scarring in like various places on your face like dark marks i would advise using a dark foundation as a bronzer using a powder foundation under the contour lines if you've got them there like it is actually really useful for me and it just sets your makeup but also adds an extra little bit of coverage as well which is just amazing still absolutely obsessed with this serrat blush i think you can get these like put into palettes and i think i might have to do that and have a few of them because they are so good it's so pigmented and i don't know if you can tell on camera when it's going on but it just gives this like luminosity to the skin like i have my cream blush underneath but this is pigmented enough on its own like look at this on my brush and then i put it on the back of my hand it is so pigmented that is one light layer and then it just builds up and you can just see it gives this like luminous glow it is it is crazy it's really pretty it basically mattifies the cream product that i put underneath and then gives it this like gorgeous luminosity as well and i i'm just obsessed this eyeshadow stick you will see me use it it's the bobby brown cream eyeshadow stick in the shade taupe love also still loving the bobby brown corrector but i didn't need it today because i am fairly well rested i slept very well considering i had something launching this morning and that's usually a recipe for disaster but i was fine and this is the blush stick i used by the way it's still absolutely loving these hourglass blush sticks lots of you if you watched last summer will remember that i loved them a lot and still loving them very much this year as well let's talk my current lip combo the lip liner it is what it is i am just using the kkw lip liner in love they don't make this anymore i am very very sad about it it is getting smaller and smaller but lip liner not essential for this look i mean it's an essential for me but it's not like an integral part of this lip combo i just like to put a lip liner on then i've been using this armani lipstick in the shade it's the lip power in the shade 109 104 is also stunning as well as like a more pinky version of this and i need to pick that up because i love it but this one is more like a rosy nude that's what i'm gonna go with anyway so i just put a little bit on <laughs> not a lot doesn't need a ton of product and then i just pat it in and it is quite creamy so patting it in it just helps to mat it down a little bit and i think this is where i go wrong with a lot of lipsticks is i forget to do this and then what i like to do is just take a little bit of this nars air matte lip color in the shade all yours it's a really light neutral nude it's not too warm it's not too cool toned and i just put a little bit in the center and then pat that in just to give that like fuller lip look and then it also still has like a slight matte touch to it but the creaminess of the lipstick works really nicely and it's like a nice like satiny kind of finish i guess so that is the lip combo i'm loving at the moment that's my current makeup faves little update even though i feel like you've probably got one in the last vlog but oh well and now i'm going to do something with my hair i have my hair in little bunches at the weekend and now it is a bit weird so i'm gonna sort this out and be right back with you okay hair is done i used a straightener to do this this morning and i'm not sure if i like it as much as my usual shebang with the curler but i just wanted to test it out and see and i also needed to show my roots of my hair and i couldn't be bothered to get the straightener and the curler and you know i'm just gonna do a little bit of oil i literally what was that oil 
why do I say things so weird? I use this Kerasas oil twice a day. This is my second one. The other one has about this much left in it and it's in my suitcase. So I use it twice a day on the ends of my hair and it makes it really shiny. But also I'm hoping it's doing something for my hair health because just very precious about that. Yeah, it looks like I'm like fully messing it up. It all bounced back into like how it was styled in a minute and I can't even tell you guys I'm so overdue a hair appointment it's ridiculous I actually had to sadly miss my last one about three weeks overdue some toner like everyone keeps saying oh what have you done to your hair like it looks different did I miss a hair update and I'm like this is called Susie is three weeks overdue some toner and some root dye and a cut so yeah we're looking a little bit too golden for my like at the moment but just gonna roll with it, try and keep it as healthy as possible because I'm feeling like it's a bit dry. So yeah, I use one pump in the morning and sometimes two pumps in the evening and then I just like let it sink into my hair and it does sink in really nicely and it gives it a great shine and I think it's also what helps the waves when I put them in my hair. I feel like it's what helps them last as long as they do. Also the fact I do the waves and I do the wave at a point so that it kind of like sits on my shoulder and I think throughout the day my shoulder like keeps the curl in place. I'm also gonna do my jewellery now. My accessories game at the moment guys. It is strong. I'm very happy with my little ear stack that I have going on daily at the moment. So we've got an Ashley and Me hoop. These have little like stars on them. Super cute. I think a Monica Vinida little rainbow hoop and then I've been loving these little Raimi earrings. These are stunning look at that oh that is like a little princess earring i'm obsessed with it so i've been wearing those on the third hoop and it's got the little chain dangling down it's just so nice yeah so that's what my little stack is looking like i really like it i have a real new piercing craving at the moment i need to have a think about what i want i think i might get some new ones for my birthday maybe we'll see and then i have been loving this little necklace this is from astro Mew. it's just super like fun and summery it reminds me of something that i would have bought back from a holiday as a kid but in cuter colors and there's a little bracelet to go with it which i think is so sweet then i have this little bracelet from boutique minimalist which i love my little bangle that's my little wrist stack and then my rings i have a boutique minimalist one and then two from majuri so that little eternity ring and then this like big gold band and i'm just gonna throw on this little monica vinader necklace which is so cute like a really good little one for every day and i love this one because you can adjust the chain as well and my outfit for getting my shiz together today is very uninspiring because it's basically the comfiest outfit that i own because otherwise i'm really not going to get anything done if i'm like wearing jeans so this is it top shop little racer back top and then these asos pajama bottoms which i believe came as like a set with a top that was like wrap and tie up and very complicated also do excuse the balloon situation we had a little birthday party here at the weekend and these are just staying until after ryan's birthday because i'm not redecorating again it's like literally a couple of days the where is the getting shiz done when is it happening well i can't do it on an empty stomach i can't do it without makeup on i can't do it without comfy clothes i can't do it without having eaten something and this might be a slight indicator of how this wardrobe room situation gets into the state that it is in the first place if you know what i'm saying everything has to be perfect which is very bad so that's how we got here. No one judged me for the state of this room. I'm gonna go eat my salmon and broccoli now. You guys, this vegan salmon is so good. So good. I got it from Sainsbury's. It's like a plant pioneers one, I think. You need to try if you don't eat fish, but you like fish. Okay. I have put this off by doing possibly everything else that I could possibly do today. And unfortunately, it's still not my bedtime, so I'm gonna have to do this. I'm not even gonna make excuses for myself. I just hate this room, and this room allows me to live a somewhat orderly life everywhere else in my house because I just dump everything, everything being mostly my clothes and some beauty products and suitcases in here, and then I shut the door and I don't look at it, and the rest of my house stays in order. So we are where we are, 
and I'm gonna put Jalapeno Girl Summer, which is my favorite playlist. I made it myself. I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna sort this. And if I really get onto a roll, I might even list some stuff on Depop, who knows? <laughs> become my favorite from the whole Saint Tropez range. I used to use purity gel, like religiously. I don't know why I'm like bending like this. I used to use this bronzing water gel religiously. Still love it. But if I'm just like not sure on my day, I really like leaving town for less time. And this is like a one to four hours. So I'm just gonna see how long I can sit in it this afternoon basically. And I can get away with this one today because I wanted to wear some kind of all black outfit, even if it wasn't this so i felt like i could get away wearing this whereas if i'm wearing white the purity gel is the one because it has no color on it but yeah have a fresh layer of town i think i did an okay job that like doing my back today as well i didn't have to use the mist i usually mist my back so all going very very well so just in case anyone's wondering where this dress that i'm wearing is from it's like a maxi dress it's actually from miss selfridge and i bought it in 2000 and 2009 so yeah this dress is over 10 years old and i love it it's like one of the best dresses for summer when i'm tanning because it like shields my whole body from like my furniture and stuff like that but it's breathable and cool and i have like a rubbish removal man coming today for the garage so i can't be like just wearing random stuff that's like not an outfit i can't be in like a bra or my pajama pants so this is the outfit for today. Also just done my brows, which my brow routine is very minimal. It basically involves a light plucking because my brows are actually outrageous, but I have been plucking them since I was 12. So they don't really grow anymore, but I never ever pluck them. So it's not a problem. They just maintain this like nice shape and I'm very happy with it. But what I do have to do because they grow wild, they'll grow to like two centimeters long if you leave them. I do have to like brush them up and give them a little haircut so that's what i've done this morning i also need to deal with my facial hair but that's going to be uh, later this evening before i shower not my tan shower but my shower shower kind of vibes because i have already put tan on my face i really messed up it should have been the first thing i did this morning was do my mustache removal i did not do it i am so out of sorts today my body normally wakes up naturally between like seven half seven and this morning i woke up and it was like half eight and that's where my like emergency alarm goes off that's like you haven't woken up naturally so my radio alarm goes off because i don't believe in phone alarms because i think they're like bad for my mental state because they're so abrupt and i'm sure it's not good for like the chemicals in your brain so yeah i'm out of routine this morning because by that point i would have had my coffee potted about cleaned some things got ready for my walk and yeah did not happen and then basically when i wake up late it means i have to go very quickly into work mode and i'm like what is happening today that's where we are at i'm in a bit of a funk so i just didn't get the chance to do any of my like skin beauty prep that i had actually planned on doing before i started my day so today is going to be 
slightly boring day for the most part because I need to write a podcast episode which just is me hammering at my laptop for a lot of the day so not much to see however I am going to show you the wardrobe room now because it looks so much better than it did yesterday I also went into the loft I was using the just do one more rule I can't remember who came up with that but I used it and I just kept doing like one more little task in that room that needed doing and the final one was condensing some of my vacuum sealed storage bags and getting some bits out of storage that I like definitely don't think I'm going to wear again haven't worn for like the last summer or so and like want to put on depop so very very productive I just have a few things that I want to put on depop today but that will be after the tan comes off yeah the room is looking so neat and tidy i'm so happy with it the real task now is to always keep it this way how much better does this look obviously this rail needs sorting it's looking very full because i did pull a lot of stuff out of storage that is taking up a lot of space and hopefully it will go to a new home soon we also have ryan he's moving in on the end so yeah can't wait to get some wardrobes built in in the bedroom we also have this chest of drawers is now in here you may have seen yesterday this was originally in the bedroom and when the new chest of drawers from swoon editions came and turned up into the bedroom if you haven't seen my last vlog it was in that i moved this ikea malm chest of drawers into here and i really like it actually it's just very minimal it doesn't really like impact the space too much it actually makes the room almost feel a little bit bigger as well and you can actually now see my gorgeous little footstool it's actually really nice to come and sit in here if i need to like do depop stuff i can come and sit here and check the labels and the clothes it just yeah works really really nicely so yeah this is my new section for all of the depop stuff there are so many summer dresses i need to get all the creases out of them today and get them ready so that is going to be one of my tasks for today and then inside the wardrobes are looking pretty good too not too shabby very happy with this not too full either there's probably a lot of stuff that could come off of this rail and go into the wardrobe but a lot of my stuff for trips is on this rail just kept out so that it's like easy to grab so i will obviously be packing this week so i'm gonna leave it until i'm back and then i will move some stuff into here but yeah it is looking good very happy and it actually wasn't as painful as i thought it was going to be so yeah it's looking good i have just done my makeup and i don't want to alarm anyone but i am not wearing foundation i I'm not wearing foundation. This is probably the first time in about four years that I've been able to live the blessed life of not having to wear foundation. I am obviously wearing concealer on my darker marks because it's very necessary. However, my skin looked so good this morning when I woke up that I was like, I'm gonna take a layer off. I'm gonna see if I can go without. And yeah, this is nice. I haven't I haven't done this in a long time. This is actually very exciting because I used a new product last night. I used that Cordly, what is it? Hang on, I need to find out what it's called. I've been using the new Cordly products. I used the salicylic one yesterday. Was it yesterday morning? Maybe the day before? So I used the Vino Pure Blemish Control Salicylic Serum. I think yesterday morning or the day before. And then last night, I did not use my good old trusty allies of skin because i actually have not been having like crazy hormonal breakouts lately and i was like i feel like i don't need to use that every night just when my skin is actually being problematic or if i feel like it's in the run-up to being problematic i use the codely vino perfect radiant serum which is like i think meant to be quite good for evening out your skin tone and like dark marks and things like that so i'm thinking that might be why my skin looked quite good this morning but whatever it was i would like to thank it because i had a really nice glow this morning and it's very very rare that that happens these days and even more rare that my skin looks good without foundation so i'm gonna be keeping on carrying on with that because i'm liking it so far if this is the sign of things to come that's very exciting to me
this is so cold so so cold i am up i have showered i have fresh clean hair which i'm very excited about i never used to get excited about fresh clean hair because i do hate day one hair but i love being clean it's nice hello coffee delivery good morning oh thank you this is great this is very good cool. um, yeah thank you but yeah i am excited to have clean hair today and for once my hair wash schedule is actually aligning with my social schedule this week so that's nice because i really got scared for a moment that i was gonna have to stay a greasy little grease head until friday and i was a bit worried about that wouldn't have worked we're having a barbecue would not have worked so yeah very pleased about that i'm ice rolling my face right now for two reasons one is because my skin is a little bit like red and crazy because i just bleached my mustache yeah for anyone that's not familiar i mean bleaching my mustache hair like i don't bleach my face even though sometimes i do say bleaching my face but i'm not actually bleaching like my skin but if anyone's had the childhood trauma of being teased of having a mustache you'll know that jolene is your best friend and i'm also i saw in my face because i have been crying because <laughs> because where's my phone my podcast is charting and I was in bed next to Ryan this morning whilst he was sneezing and I was like trying not to sob out loud because top in society and culture. I am number 20. She is right here. I really had like zero expectations going into this. So I was very overwhelmed and really happy because when you have zero expectations going into something, you're just like, this is crazy. I haven't like looked really at anything. Like I have no idea of how many people have listened right now because this is me doing something that I am very passionate about and I didn't really want it to be like, even though it is my job and it is a work thing, I didn't want it to feel like that. And I didn't want there to be pressure to just have people. I just wanted the people that wanted it to enjoy it. So yeah always really nice when there's just little things like that like that's amazing and it's actually in the top podcast charts as well but very in the grand scheme of podcasts very low down but i'll still take it yeah it's just really exciting and just really a really nice feeling because episode one is not even my best material ryan is editing episode two at the moment and i'm really happy with the messaging the overall messaging in it i have recorded episode three which is a q a episode and i'm really excited about that because there were some really great questions and things that i think were really important to discuss and then episode four is an episode that i've really been like i've had in the bank and i wasn't sure when to put out but i feel like it's time and it needs to it needs to be put out there because it's my own personal epiphany around turning 30 but i haven't recorded it yet i'm just doing the notes at the moment i'm going to finish rollering my face by the way these rollers are just blush i am obsessed with them they actually bring back the cheekbones to my face as well when i'm puffy i love that but yeah i'm gonna finish rolling my face get ready for the day and then we are going to continue sorting my life out because i've done the beauty part of sorting my life out and now i need to sort my house out because the rest of the house is not looking its best so we're going to do some cleaning We have a very big pile of washing to get through today. That's not even all of it. The wash basket's actually full. So, gonna make a start on this. Bedroom is looking a little bit tidier, which is good. I need to hoover, mop, full shebang today. Okay, next on my list for today is this. Thank you. 
ready to work i thought i would show you my little outfit of the day so i am wearing this dress which is from pretty lavish it's actually from my friend chloe's new collection which launches today so yesterday by the time you see this video and she very kindly gifted me this gorgeous little knitted dress it actually like when i was looking at it in photos on instagram i was sure this bit looked sparkly but it's actually not it's like a oatmeal colored like marl marl m-a RL. How? Why can I not say that? <laughs> Mal effect. And I absolutely love it. It is so nice to wear. I think it looks so cute, even though I'm super bloated today, but I'm just kind of rolling with it. I've got that hormonal type of bloat where from my angle, from my vision like down, it looks like my stomach is making an M shape. And I realized earlier that I've done like so many montages that are probably just here to here. And yeah, it is what it is people bloaty af today i got an extra small which at first i was like i may have made a mistake there is no way this is going on but actually it did and the sizing i would say is similar to the sleeveless pretty lavish i'm really scared i'm gonna say pretty little thing <laughs> anyway it's very similar to the pretty lavish sleeveless version of this that i have but it's in like a different color and i absolutely love it it's definitely been like one of my dresses of the summer like a real go-to for me but i would say i prefer i think i prefer the length on this one and then i've just paired it with my converse which are like my go-to for when i am wearing a more fitted dress and in terms of accessories i'm wearing the same earrings that i've been wearing for what feels like an eternity now but i'm really obsessed with them so all the same and then my necklaces actually i don't know if i showed you my necklace stack yesterday but this arrived in the afternoon with a matching bracelet from monica vinida so so beautiful it's like a quartz beaded chain but then the other half is like gold beaded and then i'm wearing this one which is also from monica vinida and this one is actually like you can make it longer or shorter it has a little circle on the end which sometimes i have as part of the design and then sometimes i have it behind and then there's just a bit of a dangly chain off the back and then i also have this very dainty little necklace here which is also from monica vinida and this one also has an adjustable train train chain too <laughs> So I'm sitting in my office, I have just Ryan's cooking his bag bowl, if you're wondering what that noise is. He's cooking early, by the way. This is actually quite early on in the day to be cooking his bag bowl. <laughs> but he had to vacate this position because he has been at his laptop editing episode, what episode are we on? Episode two of the pod, where I talk about, so this will be live on Monday, the most light bulb moment of my like dating time and it was actually a couple of months before i met ryan and i swear it's like the lesson that actually helped me the most in dating and like dating and feeling really confident and like secure and it's it's a like chunky episode i'm actually really i was really nervous filming it because it is very personal obviously but i am so so happy with how it came out i get scared to say that because i'm scared someone's gonna like take a dump on it when it goes live but i'm so happy with how it came out hopefully it maybe helps some people i come out with a lot of cringe cliches in it but sometimes they have to be said and yeah i'm very happy with it i'm also really enjoying sitting in this room right now because as you guys will have seen i actually tidied it earlier i got all of my beauty stuff sorted stuff i want to keep into drawers from like press samples and then stuff to like give away is all like sorted out in bags sorted out some bits for like travel bags and stuff because i got sent a new travel bag so i was like mm, i'm gonna put some new bits in there and then i made the side nala's ball there's just tiny pink balls everywhere throughout this house that is my own doing so i can't really complain this view oh love it i actually created a new little setup over here which i am just loving it needs a little dust but very happy with it so we have a few of my favorite perfumes a lot of the killian ones so we have angel share which is just delicious like real toffee apple kind of vibes and then we have killian love don't be shy extreme good girl gone bad good girl gone bad hair mist i believe yeah hair mist and then the new i think this is the new armani my way this is stunning this is probably going to be my like end of the summer scent and this bottle is just beautiful too i i love so i think i'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of this one it's very floral very fruity but like there's something really delicious about it at the same time i'm not normally a florals girl but this is just stunning and i'm just loving this little 
the setup is so cute. Not to keep banging on about pop, but if you listen to episode one, you'll all be very pleased to know that I have sorted out my post today as well. That was a big part of sorting my life out. And thank you very much to one of my friends who will remain nameless, but you all know who she is. And I'm just gonna leave you guessing because I don't really know if they'll want me to expose them, but one of my very good friends from the industry actually sent me a video of them like flicking through like a stack of unopened posts and it made me feel so much better. And thank you to everyone else that also was like, I thought it was just me that didn't like opening posts. I really wanna start up like a support group for us because it's really embarrassing and just very painful at the same time because I hate dealing with posts and I thank my lucky stars for Lauren every day because normally she does it for me. <laughs> I'm actually a few minutes away from a team call, so I'm going to check back in with you in a little bit. dresses are steamed ready to go on depop tomorrow so hopefully some of these will be live by the time you watch this video i just can't decide there is this one dress from and other stories i will pop a photo if i have a photo because i'm gonna do them tomorrow morning so future me will put a photo here i can't decide because this is just stunning but i haven't worn it and a lot of the weddings that i had anticipated god i can't speak i'm so hungry so hungry so tired but a lot of the weddings that i'd anticipated happening are not happening because covid so yeah not sure if i will get the wear out of this one but it's just stunning this one i love but it's very very floaty and i'm not sure if i'm going to get the wear out of it same with this one and i really thought i would i'm just i'm not loving maxi dresses at the moment this one another fave of mine but this one this one is so annoying it just will not steam it will not steam it's a linen obviously but it i think it's a linen anyway crinkles like a linen i'll tell you that for sure but then we've got these lovely h&m cheesecloth dresses which are they steam like a dream can we just take a moment for this because the creases literally just fell out so big fan of them but just haven't really been getting the wear but they're great if you're like a short girl and you want a nice dress they're great if you're tall as well because adjustable straps but these were a really nice length on me in terms of being maxi but they'd be a really nice like midi if you're taller and this color is just oh delicious and then i've got a few h&m and, and other stories like ruched top dresses but again just not really wearing them at the moment so those are going on there and then we have this little play suit which let me know if you think I should keep this because I think it's actually a really great basic but I'm just not sure on the style I'm not sure I'm loving that right now so that will probably go on there to be honest that's winter we're not looking at that yet but they are on the depop if you want those then I also have this little shirt dress from ASOS which I bought thinking it was cute and I think it just looks a bit Beetlejuice on me but if anyone wants it it will be on there and these two are already on there from the other day as is this cute little summer dress as well so yeah lots on depop and lots going on depop tomorrow morning let me know if there's anything that you think i should definitely keep also happy shopping guys happy shopping has made me my favorite spag bowl for dinner and i say my favorite but in actual fact this is the only spag bowl that i will eat because before i met ryan i actually hated spag bowl but he's perfected this recipe and it is absolutely delicious it is so good you guys i'm so happy i cooked two nights in a row for this so i could wangle this one i've been asking for it for about two months putting the work to get this spag bowl oh, it's delicious but it takes him ages to make but it's so worth it by the way yes i have changed I did a workout earlier and I didn't want to eat dinner and be sticky. So now I'm just going to risk getting bolognese on this. When getting bolognese on the orange set probably would have been better. Would it just be better if I wore a bib? Yeah, it would. I'm going to eat this now. See you in the morning, everybody. By some miracle, my house has actually stayed quite neat since I've tidied it, which is literally nothing short of a miracle. And it's making me very, very happy. The kitchen is looking lovely the bathroom is looking lovely the bedroom looks lovely bedroom always looks lovely because 
I need it to be like that for my sanity. The living room looks as it always does because it's a very boring room actually. And the wardrobe room looks lovely. The office looks lovely. I am literally over the moon. This has exceeded my expectations <laughs> for this vlog. I wanted to give you a little outfit of the day this morning quickly. Little update from the last video. I am loving this skirt. If you missed that vlog, it's from Reformation. It is so cute. My favorite word, obviously. You know I love something if I call it that, but I absolutely love the colors in it. It is so nice. It's such a different piece for me, but still doesn't look wrong when I'm wearing it. And I love that. I actually love the little blue bits on it. And I've really been enjoying wearing a blue version of this top with it, but it's in the wash right now. So we're going with the white version today, which I think also looks equally lovely. I'm going to just turn my brightness down. Hang on. And then I have my Fendi sliders, which have been this summer's staple for me. I've got a little belly chain from ASOS. My necklaces are the same as yesterday as are my earrings and then for my bracelets i have got going from left to right we've got monica vinida astrid and miu monica vinida and then a little etsy bracelet as well yeah that is today's outfit it's very very warm today so i'm not going to need anything else over the top this is going to be it and i'm just off to run my final errand of the vlog the final piece in sorting my life out which is to top up shrimpy's dog food so that is probably going to be where i leave you for this video because no one needs to see me going to pets at home i mean i know you've watched me hoovering in this and cleaning my bathroom in this vlog but i feel like that would just be the cherry on top of a very boring cake so that is going to be it from me today thank you for helping me sort my life out this is probably the most organized i felt in a very very long time so thank you very much for joining me i will leave links to my depop i'll just try it on all the depop stuff there's only one dress that i'm having a slight crisis of confidence about and it's the under the stories floral one let me know what you think on that i might keep it just for like insurance purposes like random christenings last minute wedding invites i don't know you know it's just perfect for that kind of thing and I really like it and it's very pretty so I might keep that one I'm not sure I will leave a link to podcast episode one in the info box if you haven't listened yet and you want to go and have a listen it will be linked down there we're currently top 10 on Spotify society and culture which I'm very very excited about so yeah I'll leave links to where you can listen to it because there's basically every podcasting platform available and that is going to be it from me I love you all lots and I'll see you guys again very very soon bye